Here we are talking about this 1989 190E 2.6 with the M1036 cylinder in it. Today we're going to work on getting the uh, fuel filter changed. So let's get this up in the air and take a look. Before we get started though, we want to make sure the battery is disconnected. Disconnect the negative here, we're good to go. All right, with the car jacked up or up in the air, we're going to come to the driver's side rear and there is a plastic cover right here uh, that houses all the fuel. Uh, there are three fasteners, one and two and three. And that should be all we need to take off to remove this cover and access what's inside. All right, with a little bit of turning a wrench, we have this off. Uh, note, this was a 10 millimeter socket. Uh, the nuts are plastic, so be gentle with them. Also, if your cover is anything like mine, it's gonna be pretty gross. So take a second to clean it up. We always like putting things back better than they were before. Once we're here under the car, we can see the mounting for the fuel pump. This is pretty gross. We got the fuel pumps fuel accumulator and the fuel filter right there. So this is going to be fastened with the banjo bolt, excuse me, and back here with a, a, a nut that's captive. Note that there are some copper washers, so make sure you have some to put back. Uh, those are one-time use. This one here should be fitted on your new part, but there are three in total. So. Make sure you have those available. Something to do before you go out and clean up that plastic cover would be to go ahead and spray some PB Blaster. Uh, if yours is anything like mine, it's going to be pretty grody. So go ahead and spray it a little bit uh, on either end of this filter. I also sprayed the screws that hold the bracket. My hope is that I can just loosen the bracket enough that the filter will come out of the back. Uh, that's definitely how it has to come because of the lip, but I can move this soft line, disconnect this, just pull it right out. We'll see. I'm hoping I don't have to take more than that apart, but give it some time to soak in there while you do some other cleaning and scrubbing. All right, cut to after the filter has been changed. I uh, don't have a tripod, so I'm unable to grab any of that footage on my own here. Uh, so a couple things I wanted to point out. This banjo bolt right here is a 17 millimeter. The uh, fastener right here is a 17. And this big integrated nut um, is a 22. So you can get your 22 millimeter wrench here. You can get your 17 millimeter socket or wrench here. Uh, use that to hold, pull that off, same thing with this one just be very careful these can be delicate uh, these especially if they're older can be delicate um, another thing is you definitely want to make sure to loosen the screw up here um, pretty much all the way you don't have to take it all the way out but you want it to be really good and loose uh, and I also loosened this one just to give myself a little bit extra wiggle room um, once this was out I pulled this down this drops real easy you have to push this up um, if you're going ahead and changing the fuel accumulator at the same time, you might change that hose uh, and make it a little bit longer to give yourself a little bit extra room. You can see here, there's just not a lot. So I was able to push that up, flex it, push it out this way, and then reverse back in. Same thing, add your copper, tighten it all up, everything's good. Uh, now keep in mind, as you are loosening this, take your time. So go ahead and crack this nut here and uh, let a little fuel drip out into a pan. You can see I've got it over there. Uh, let a little fuel drip out into the pan until it kind of slows down. And then the same thing over here. Crack that, let some fuel drip out into the pan until it slows down. Uh, don't be in a hurry in this. You don't need to crack the nut and then just be in a race to take it out because you're going to dump fuel all over yourself and all over everywhere. Make sure you're wearing gloves, long sleeves, all that kind of stuff. Fuel is gross and nasty. Uh, other thing to remember is once it's stopped um, dripping, there's still a ton of fuel in this. So as you get it loose, 
as you're able to kind of tip it, um, you know, tip it into your pan, let it run a little bit more, really try and work it out of there carefully so you're not covering yourself or your workspace in fuel. Um, once you got that, there's still gonna be some in there, grab some paper towels, plug that up, yank it out. That part, you do kind of want to be in a hurry because you don't want fuel to leak everywhere. Yank it out, put it in your bucket, and you're set. But this is a pretty easy job, especially if you take your time. So we'll go ahead and uh, next thing we're gonna do, is lower the car back down. I'm gonna put a pan underneath this in case there are any leaks. But I'll go ahead and you know pressurize the fuel system, crank it over, see if we can get it to start, see if we can get it to run, make sure that there aren't any leaks, and then we'll button it up with that uh, cover. So real quickly, I'm in the process of getting this cover cleaned up. Now I've got a parts washer, but if you have just a bucket and some degreaser, this works just as well. You don't need a, a whole parts washer. But you can see I'm using just a regular nylon brush. You can even use a nylon brush like this if you want to, just whatever, something gentle. Uh, I soaked it for a little bit in, uh, this is a PCS 1000, you can get a tractor supply, but simple green, a degreaser, whatever works. I, uh, I did a good scrape dry to get most of the loose stuff off, and then I dunked it in here for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, and then I brought it back out, I started scrubbing again, and look, that looks new. Look at all that grime. This is gonna look great going back on. All right, just to brag on this a little bit, this took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of scrubbing, 20 minutes of letting it sit while I was doing other stuff. And this part looks almost brand new. You saw the before, the during. This is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's, you know, 33 years old. It's gonna look really nice, especially, especially up against this. Right? Look how grimy it is. That's beautiful. It's nice having clean parts. All right, folks, and that's it. One last reminder, these are plastic nuts that hold these on. They do not need to be crazy tight. And uh, you know, just put them on with some care. Don't zip them on with a electric or air tool. Just use a nice, nice little ratchet. Do it by hand, super easy. Look how nice that looks, especially against all this rest of this rusty junk. One piece at a time. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope this was helpful.